In this video, I'm bringing on my guest, Sammy. He's going to be talking about his book, A Man of a Plan. I really hope you guys will find some inspiration from the book and perhaps purchase it. Here he is. What's good, my brother? How you doing, man? Good and you, man. Good, good. It's nice. been a minute. It's been a minute. For sure. Thanks for having me. Yeah. yeah. So your book, man. Yeah. Who is it curtailed to exactly? Well, it's to young adult. Um, anybody or anybody who is able to understand um, the reality. So in this book, I share the things that I've seen in my, in my life, and I write them in the form of memoir, uh, philosophy with some aspect of theology. And I aim to inspire young adult and make a difference. Uh -huh. Yeah. So with your book, there's mm -hmm. definitely like a lot of books out there that are becoming mm -hmm. popular. What sets your book apart from those books specifically? Well, I come from a, a place where um, only select few of us um, are heard. And I just want to voice my, my, my voice within a society where it is filled with criticism and um, judgment. So I portray these uh, stories and hoping that somebody can actually um, see the reality or and um, grow, you know what I'm saying? Gotcha. Yeah. And your book, so mm -hmm. as the author, mm -hmm. what inspired you to take the time to write the whole story out? Well, the book is long. That's why I, I'm writing it in a, in a series. So A Man with a Plan, it is a second book within a series which I call um, A Long Life Journey. So as you can see in the title, it is A Long Life Journey. And A Man with a Plan came after The Boy in Red Shorts. So it's, it's showing... A tr tr transition from me being a young kid living in Africa uh, to me being a man. And a, a man with a plan captures the, the experience or the, um, the realities I see from coming, landing my feet uh, on American soil to finishing college. Um, so, that's, so within the time frame, that's the event that's within... Um, that a man with a plan captures. I hope I'm saying. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. So like, it's pretty much gonna have your goals for the future, things you've kind of done up to now. And the boy in red shorts, it's kind of like separate. It's like your childhood, mm -hmm. things you've experienced. Mm -hmm. So it's really like a sequence. So book one, book two. Yep. And the more coming. Um, this is one thing to keep in mind, though. Um, I grew up with that, like a father figure, or or. Let, let me rephrase that. Rephrase that. When I was in Africa, I just never had a, a father figure uh, in my life or, or, or even a mother. So somebody else raised me. And within that struggle, I came to find ways to, to learn and uh, grow in a, not in a traditional ways. Because oftentimes with children grow, growing up, they look up at... Uh, their parents or somebody who, who can act like a, as a guide or instructor in their life. And I didn't have that. So a man with a plan shows you how I used um, or how I learned from anybody who came across my life and how they inspired me to, to keep living a life that God is meant for me to live. Gotcha. Yeah. And when people read books too, they're usually looking for insights value. So what do you think your book's going to provide in those aspects? That's a good question. But the truth is in front of my audience. The, the, truth, the truth is in front of my, my readers, but the reaction is yours, uh, is theirs. Like I can't control how they react or what they can gain from my, my writing, but I want to be clear um, and honest with you and transparent with you. A man with a plan is about uh, perseverance, commitment, and a vision. So we all, have, we all have a vision, we all have plans, we all have goals in life. But are you committed to, um, to achieving those goals? Or will you persevere when um, a challenge or a struggle or something you wanted to obtain so bad and you know, go the way you wanted it? Will you persevere? Will you find another way? To achieve those goals that's what the man with the plan is all about 
And um, the journey, the goal is to help people in a less or a neglected neighborhood for them to find a way forward. And pre presenting these uh, challenges and obstacles that I've seen can help you to find hope or to be hopeful in whatever difficulties you are going through. Gotcha. Yeah. And your book, where mm -hmm. can people find it? Uh, I sell them, uh, the uh, paperbacks um, can, be, can be found or can be purchased uh, on my website, um, Born to Inspire Media, uh, which, is a, which is a website for my self-publishing project. Uh, and ebooks can be found on Amazon, uh, Google Books, uh, Apple, uh, or a lot of other um, uh, platform for, for books, yeah. Gotcha. So yeah. we'll put a link to mm -hmm. that stuff in the description box so people can access, can, can access it easily. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but Sammy, um, mm -hmm. thank you for coming on my show, man. Yeah. I think you shared a lot of great stuff about your book that yeah. people will find very valuable. Thank you very much for having me, man. Yeah, we'll, we'll be talking, yeah? For sure. Thank you. All right, guys. So this was the end of the video. I really hope you guys found some value from it. Um, definitely check out Sammy's book. I think you'll really enjoy it a lot. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode.